Good afternoon, New Life Church. Welcome to our Track Devo for the week. So this morning, Pastor Ron asked me a question that he has frequently asked me over the past several months on my journey to recovery from my roller skating accident. And this morning he asked me, so what have you been learning? What has God been teaching you over the past months? And so quickly, I wanted to just to give an answer because that was the answer he was expecting. Um, I've been learning patience or something else. And I did, I gave a quick answer. But the question's been going over in my mind all afternoon. What has God been teaching me? And sometimes I don't like to go through the journey that God takes me on to learn a lesson. But I know it's necessary. While I don't always enjoy it, I know that God has a plan and a purpose. And it brought me back to a couple scripture verses that we read this past week. We've been, we finished up the book of Hebrews and then we went into the book of Exodus. And the first two verses I want to read to you are the last two verses of chapter two of the book of Exodus. Israel's been in captivity. Um, they've been slaves to the Egyptians. And in the last two verses, this is what it says. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He looked down on the people of Israel and knew it was time to act. So in these two verses, what does it say about God? What truth is revealed? That God is a God who sees, God is a God who hears, God is a God who remembers, and God is a God who knows. And when it says remembers, it doesn't mean that God forgot something and he had to remember it like we do. It means that God remembered and now it was time to act upon it. It's an acting upon remembrance is what it means in this verse. So what have I learned in my journey? I think it could be summed up in what maybe the Israelites are feeling at this point in time or what's expressed in these verses. That God is a God who hears. God's heard my prayers for the past four months in this road to recovery. That God is a God who sees me. Yeah, I've had to go through a lot of physical therapy and had to go through surgery. But each step of the way, God is a God who saw me. Not because everything was perfect, but because he is a perfect God. You see, everything wasn't perfect in the lives of the Israelites. It was a painful time that they were in. They were in slavery. It was not what they had planned. It's not what the promise looked like to them. But God was a God who saw them. God was a God who knew them. God knows what they were going through. God knows what I'm going through. And God was a God who knew when it was time to act. He remembered his promises to them. Not again, not in the fact that he forgot them, but he knew now was the time to act. It wasn't the time a month before or two months before or even a hundred years before. God knew at the right time in history when he needed to act on his promises for the Israelites. I can apply that to my life today. God is a God who knows when to act on my behalf, and I can trust him in that. And that's where I flip over to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. It doesn't say God can be trusted to keep everything perfect in my life. It doesn't even say God can be trusted to keep pain away from my life. It says God can be trusted to keep his promises. What are his promises that are revealed all through scripture? Not only his love and his forgiveness, but he's revealed himself that he promises to be a God who sees us, a God who hears us, a God who knows us, a God who keeps his promises, a God who is for us. So folks, I don't know what you're going through this week. I don't know what your situation or circumstance is. I don't know what you're facing tomorrow. I don't know what you faced yesterday. I don't know what the journey looks like for you. And if I were to ask you this question, what is God teaching you? I pray that just like myself, that one of the things that God reveals to you in your journey is that God is always, always a God who sees, a God who hears, a God who knows, and a God who remembers and that he is a God that we can hold on to no matter what comes our way. We can hold on to him with our faith, knowing that he is a God who keeps his promises. New Life Church, be encouraged today. Be encouraged today by God's word and in his revelation of who he is to you and to me. 
We pray that you have a blessed week. Know that we love you. We care about you. God bless.